Presently the ocean is really undersampled and we have big gaps in our knowledge, particularly around how the biology and chemistry interact with the physics and control things such as fisheries, phytoplankton, which ultimately impact the way the oceans function in terms of productivity, uh, amount of food that they can produce, the way that carbon dioxide is absorbed by the oceans and taken away to actually mitigate climate change. So an Argo float is like a robot that is uh, operating freely at sea. So it uh, goes down to 1,000 meters, it sleeps for 10 days, and after that it goes down to 2,000 meters. And while he is going up, he is making measurement of temperature, pressure and salinity up to the surface. When you arrive at the surface, then it transmits the data by satellite link directly to shore where the data are process and deliver to the users. So what we've done at Lantos Project and the work that we've been involved in is actually creating better sensors that can go on these Argo floats, the so-called biogeochemical sensors, that allow us to address the biological and chemical components of the ocean, not just the physical components such as temperature, salinity and pressure. Now our target is to have 1,000 of these robots operating globally in all the ocean so that we can have a complete picture of the ecosystem ocean. What the Atlantos project has done is allowed us to make a step change in our ability to observe the oceans. By augmenting the Argo system using the Atlantos project as a pilot, we can show that we can observe our planet at a much better temporal and spatial resolution than we could before.